Hey guys, um, it's Kater93 here um, with another tutorial on how to get an iOS 4 feature on a device that it does not support it. Um, today I'm going to be featuring multitasking. It is probably one of the biggest hits, um, the biggest features on iOS 4. Uh, sadly though, Apple's only restricted this to the iPhone 4 uh, because of performance issues on any devices because their processors um, aren't good enough or whatever. So. I'm going to show you how to get this on a device that doesn't support iOS 4 at all, uh, which is my first generation iPod Touch. Um, but you should know that if you have iOS 4 and you jailbroke your device, then you can still get this tweak. Um, so first off, the tweak is called Circuitous, and you can get it from Cydia. Uh, I believe that the repository that you get it from is already um, in Cydia once you install that and jailbreak your device but it's called Circuitous, it's the second one there on the list. Um, this basically allows you to background your apps and do multitasking. So this is what it looks like when you activate it. Kind of like Apple, uh, their iPhone 4 backgrounding, multitasking. Um, you can scroll left to right if you wish, uh, if you have that as a setting. Um, Unlike Apple's multitasking, you can't swipe to the far left and get your media controls. Um, that's one bad thing um, about this. But again, it's not Apple. Um, it's free, so yeah. Um, so once you download this, you get quite a few options. Um, go to Circuitous, and then you can look at all these options and then figure out what they do. And you can change the settings for yourself. If you don't know what anything means, just tap this tutorial button here, and then it'll give you a list of what everything means, what it does, if you turn on or off, what it means, um, etc. So you can make that and turn everything to your liking. Um, that's the one thing that's different between this and Apple's actual multitasking. Um, their multitasking is just there, you can't really do anything much else besides that. Um, here you can do um, pretty much any customization that you want. Um, like I said, you can customize it, and I just have my multitasking or my circuitous uh, thing running at the bottom, so it looks more um, authentic as like a multitasking device um, to match the iPhone 4. But if you want, you can have it uh, these apps lined up uh, at the top and the left and right as well. Uh, to quit an app, instead of just touching and holding and then closing out of it like you would on an iPhone 4, you just simply um, touch the icon until it gets big and then sweep up. That is if you're at the bottom. If you're at anywhere else, you sweep in the opposite direction. Like if your bar is on the left, you swipe to the right, etc. Whichever way is inward towards your device. So um, to close it, you can just pretty much tap out or just tap the button that you use to activate it. Um, to activate, you just tap dock activation and then you can choose which way you want to activate it. Again, many choices. Um, oh, this is called Circuitous because you can cycle these apps in a circuit. Um, that's my guess anyway, I'm not quite sure. But again, you can choose what activates that. And what this does is pretty neat. Um, I have it as a short hold on my sleep button, but if I hold it down for a short while, well, I'm actually switched to whatever the next app in line is. Now you know because if you hold it, you'll see in line, it goes in order. So. Um, also, you can choose that. You can choose it to uh, switch to a random app if you wish. I don't know why, but like if I do it again, it'll switch to Facebook. And there's Facebook. Um, again, you can just activate this, and then you can just swipe to whatever uh, app you want. And it'll take you back there. Um, of course, I'm not going to be able to run through all these in the time that I have, but um, I think this is a really great tweak. It doesn't really slow your device down unless you're running or trying to background um, a graphical intensive game or something. Uh, if you try to background a game, your device will run a little bit slower. Um, if you try to background too many things, your device will run a little bit slower. That's normal. Of course, it's not like Apple says. And yeah. One thing that you can do with this also is background audio. Now, I'm going to play this song. This isn't from um, my music library. This is actually an, an app. So if you play it, can you hear that? I'll well, turn up a little bit. Well, you can background music from apps like Pandora, I'm guessing as well. I don't have it, but this is a music app as well. 
close out of it, normally it would just stop. But now you have background audio. Um, the thing is that this will drain your battery a little bit faster as well because you know you're streaming live uh, live audio. Um, so yeah, you'll notice that each of these um, apps I have open, with the exception of Mail, has a little badge in the bottom left indicating that it's backgrounding. Again, that's a saying that you can set, um, but you don't have to have that. Oh, you can also activate this from the lock screen. Turn your lock screen, activate it, and it too pops up there. Um, if you find that helpful, that's great. If you don't, you can turn it. Uh, you can choose to turn that off, but it's there if you want that option. Um, so I'll turn my audio off. Again, activate it through whichever way you want, and then just do that. And then again, close, just swipe, and then the icons re will readjust in, a, in the little dock down there. Yeah. Um, again, it's pretty lightweight. It works pretty well. So, I don't really have any complaints about it. I mean, obviously it's not Apple's actual background, but it's close enough, in my opinion. Um, it's the best one that I've tried, which really doesn't say much because I've only tried out two backgrounder systems. But, again, you can try Circuitous. Um, it's free in Cydia. And, again, the one feature that it does do that Apple doesn't is cycling through um, the apps that you have open. So, yeah. I would definitely recommend this if you don't have multitasking. Um, even on my first generation iPod Touches has the slowest graphics of pretty much any um, iDevice um, out there right now. It still runs pretty smoothly. You can see that it transitions uh, really smoothly. It opens apps really well and they're ready to go pretty much right when you open them instead of having to wait. And that's a big part of the whole productivity thing. And you know, that's just pretty great. I don't really know how else to describe it. Um, this might be uh, not a good tweak for people, but I don't know. Personally, I love this. Uh, it's a lot better than Pro Switcher, which is what I've been using. Uh, I decided to try this out, and I'm in love with it um, after only a day. So I would strongly suggest this a little tweak um, for people that you know would like backgrounding, multitasking on their device. Again, like I said, you can background pretty much anything. Um, depending on the speed of your processor, it will run a little slower if you try to background a graphical intensive app like a game or something, or something that's uh, constantly connected to the internet. Uh, those will drain your battery a little bit, but my battery hasn't really drained that much uh, since I've been using this. So I think it's a pretty good app. Um, very customizable, um, really good tweak. So if you want multitasking, uh, that's the tweak that you want to get. Again, it's Arcutus on Cydia, and hope this was a good tutorial for you guys.